We're going to begin with the latest on the critical inflation report from the White House to economists to Wall Street, all looking for clues to where the economy is headed. Our team is covering all the angles, beginning with our chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, Robin. And as you say, this is a critical report on assessing the health of the U.S. economy. Prices up in April from a year ago, 8.3 percent. That is still a 40 year high, though it is a lower pace than what we saw in March, where prices were up eight and a half percent from a year ago. And the trouble here is that it's really inescapable. If you look at prices across the board, food prices have now been up for 17 consecutive months, up 9.4 percent from a year ago. Energy prices came down a bit, but they're still up 30.3% from a year ago. Shelter costs up 5.1%. That is rents, the cost of housing for Americans also going up. You see airfares and new cars also going up in prices, and that's weighing on things, particularly when you consider the fact that wages, which are up significantly 5.5% from a year ago, are not keeping up with this inflation. Now, it's not only a question for American families keeping things out of reach, making it too expensive to go to the grocery store or the gas station. The other question this raises is what it means for the economy more broadly. It can mean a recession, and there are many economists who believe the odds are now increasing for that. If you look back to World War II, you've seen these rising prices precede every recession. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.